today we're going to be building this pyramid truck tire which we got right here. Make sure you check out the description below which has a list of all the tools, materials, alternative elements which could be used to swap out for this piece as well as any other elements which could connect to it in some way. For this pyramid that we're making, we're using about a one meter diameter truck type. So three sets of three. Mark out where they're going to be joined together when they're laying down on the ground. So you can mark out on the face where they're gonna join. Then we can use a template to make sure all of those holes are gonna be in the same position. Flip them up and drill through, bolt those together. Then once the holes are dug all in place, we can start bolting the corners together as well. Putting two bolt in each connection point there. And then make sure you label these as well. If you have to take them out and put them back in, it makes it much easier. So this one is B, this one is C, B to C, C to B. Whatever you like, as long as you know where these things are supposed to connect. We're starting off by drilling into the side wall here. So you're sitting flush up against the tire, instead of starting off the drilling like this, it'll just run. So get it started on the side, then when it's started to get in, turn it over and go all the way through. It's quite thick there at the corner. We're talking like three inches. We're talking about like seven centimeters there. Get a sharp drill bit and push all the way through and open that up so you've got room to work with. You can use the ties that you've got as a reference point for where you're gonna dig these holes. Make sure that you line them up on the ground, mark them out, and then you can start digging. We're using these really clever tire openers to get inside the tires. Sometimes they can be, the actual openings can be quite thin, so difficult to get a hand in there to work on them. We've got these patented Rick Shipways tire openers. They do the job just fine. You can pop them in, open it up, and it makes the whole job much easier. You can whip up something like this yourself, super easy. Place them in there, make sure it all lines up well, and then start uh, drilling and bolting those ones together as well. When we're joining these pyramid pieces together, so you've got your sets of three, and we're gonna connect the base pieces first, putting uh, two bolts in each connection point. We're doing the base first because it's much easier to manoeuvre the top section once the whole base is in place. Once you've got the pyramid all bolted together and attached, really simple, all then we're doing is filling in those ties with a lot of earth making sure it's really compact, especially inside the tyres and in any of those nooks and crannies where the dirt can have little pockets of air. So make sure you squish that down, get some water on there as well, and then we can start painting it. With all of these pieces, we're gonna make sure that we download the instructions there from the Playground Ideas website. Super easy to follow, showing you all the materials, techniques, how to go about building them, really great to have on site with you. So this design, as well as all of our designs, are made to be used in conjunction with the free safety handbook, which is available from the website. It's just down there. Hey, what did you think of the video? Please let us know down below in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of what Patrick's doing in India. You can go and visit playgroundideas.org which has 150 designs and all the resources that you need to build an awesome playground. And lastly, we've got a ton more videos to watch so check them out here.